Connecticut. What? Good afternoon and welcome to Better Connecticut on your throwback <laughs> Thursday here. And what are uh, the you snow is falling. Because we were, okay, if, if you watch the show, you know we have a continuing competition about who gets to say, Right now. Right now. Right. Your day is about to get better right now. Right now. But I've started to rethink that just because sometimes you're chosen to do right now, it would mean that I was chosen to begin. Begin the show? Yes. You begin the show every day. No, no, no. Oh. The, that's because you never say hello. Oh. <laughs> you forget. <laughs> <laughs> so if I don't talk, we'll be sitting here in silence. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, in the beginning of, of the very first story that it gets people excited, it, it's opposite who ends it. Oh, I see. Okay. Very good. Well, <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll see if listen, that makes any sense. If you're feeling like you're t sick of the snow and winter and the pandemic and everything, um, it's National Drink Wine Day. Ugh, I hate wine. Ugh, I'm not even a, I don't even know any sommeliers. <laughs> well, uh, we used to have a sommelier on the show. Yes, we yeah, did, and, and she knew a lot about wine. She knew a lot about wine. But I, I do enjoy wine. I like wine better than, you like vodka. I don't no, like vodka. No, I don't like wine at all. I just think it tastes like a tart grape, like a bad, but you've like had, a grape you, that went bad. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's sort of what happens. <laughs> it's a fermented grape. It is, yes. But, I get, you know, it's an acquired taste. And, I, I know has, a lot of people enjoy a glass of vino. And it is heart month, and I have been interviewing a lot of cardiologists, and they actually say it's not a made-up myth. You know, a, a small glass Seriously. of red wine each day protects your heart. A glass of wine a day keeps the Because of the, the reserve of 12. Isn't that it? interesting? Maybe I'll have to take up drinking wine. Does vodka bit. do the same thing? I don't think so. I don't think it has those a antioxidants from a the Cosmo? grape. A Cosmo? Is not a Cosmo a day a healthy if thing? If you put maybe, like, pure grape juice in it you or something. You never know. Uh, <laughs> hey, we're going to the Mars. I know, the rover, Perseverance, it's going to land on the Red Planet today. exciting? And pretty soon we can take our vacation there. I, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, but uh, nonetheless, they are getting ready. 300 million mile journey. That's the so thing cool. left in July. And you know it's what? Not incredible. bad time. I mean, they probably had a little traffic along the way, <laughs> slowed them down a little bit. But 300 million miles away, and they're going to Mars to determine if there's... Of course, we're going to get there. there's this crazy seven-minute landing. Yeah. We're going to get there and start drilling into the planet, just like Americans do. You know, we start just making a mess of things. <laughs> just, hey, we're here. We're going to do some construction, and then we're going to leave. <laughs> Well, it, it will be interesting because they are going to drill in and get some Martian rock and, and determine, like, you know, what type of life, if ever, was there or what it could support. But they do say it's paving the way for human exploration at some point. What do you think the Martians are thinking about our little truck landing on their, their, <laughs> their hey, take me to your leader? <laughs> yes. Uh, they've also got a do drone. Do you think they're already here and they're just watching of, it? 100%. <laughs> it's 100. And they've got a drone they're going to put up, and it's going to take some uh, pictures of the images of the, the uh, red planet. So this just... It's all very exciting. It's all very exciting. So today when I was texting you this morning, I intentionally used the emoji that's I not cool saw anymore. I that. Yes. Okay. All right. I, you know the laughing so hard that I'm crying emoji? You know, my kids actually tell me that I'm never allowed to use that again because it's not cool. And now it actually is a thing. I mean, so the younger generation has stopped using it altogether. They think it's very uncool. What? And they're using other emojis. Like, and this is, they're called Generation Z? Z? Yeah. I never even heard of that. My children are Generation Z, and they think they're better than Generation X. Born after 1996, they say they've stopped using it because Kara Sundland is uncool. Uh, well, I used to, I mean, I went back, it wasn't that long ago, I went back to my daughter, like a quick, you know, laughing out loud emoji, and it was like, stop using that. What are we that. supposed so to use now? Oh, the skull. There's a skull. The, the younger population is using a skull. Why would that be funny? As in, I'm dying of laughter. Ridiculous. They also don't like skinny jeans or hair parted to the side anymore. So, I mean, I'm really uncool. You are just so uncool. If I saw the skull, I would think you were taking me to a Grateful Dead concert. Yeah. So that, that's, that's how old I am. I'm getting ready to go. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just whatever. But I might use a skull tomorrow on you uh, if I can see, find it. <laughs> I like the cowboy one with the little smiley face with the cowboy hat. I yeah. like that one, too. I always can tell that you are not a big texture, I think, because maybe you're not wearing your glasses. Oh, you think so? Is that why? Sometimes no. you don't write very yeah, many words. That, uh, no, I'm just very short and to the point. I mine are very long sometimes because now I discovered, you know, I just voice text, so I'm like it's, la 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 la. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like a long email. You get it, you open up, you go, oh yeah, yeah, I gotta read this whole thing. And with OCD, I gotta read it. If not, I go back and I gotta start over again. It's a nightmare. <laughs> All right. 
All right, there's a new Corella DeVille yep. for the big screen, Emma Stone. I love Emma Stone. Yeah, she's going to take on the infamous Dalmatian loving or hating evil villain. Now, this is a prequel. Yeah. So it starts off and lets us know how she got to be so Cruella de Vil, right? I guess. I guess it's so. It's like the origins of uh, Cruella de Vil. And it's set in 1970s in London and just how she became so evil. I love it. I love a good evil I do love Corella. I do love a Corella too. We still have the Corella doll. When Helena was little, she was in the 101 Dalmatians at the Hartford stage. Oh, she was? It was just, I loved Corella. Oh, that is so funny. Black and white. That is absolutely amazing. So look at, it's awesome. Look at that. Oh, and the Dalmatians are so cute too. Look at her. All right, very. Oh, look. Oh, some wishes. That looks like Glenn Close. Is that the Glenn Close? Is that the original one? Was that the original? I think we're looking at the original. Oh. Anyway, Emma Stone's taking the role. Uh, um, Madonna's daughter yeah. is now going to be a big model with Marc Jacobs, the fashion house. Let's take a look. I, I, I mean, do you want to know what 24-year-old Lourdes Leon looks like now? She's. Uh, I did not know that Madonna was best friends with Marc Jacobs, and this is probably why she got the job. She but is very beautiful, too. That, you know, a little nepotism going on there. But well, like, I hey, mean, make my daughter the face of the beauty campaign. All right, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, look at her. She does look a little like Madonna, doesn't she? Yeah, I don't think she, what do I know? She's a lovely young woman. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Demi Lovato has brain damage. Do you hear this? After suffering three strokes and a heart attack following her, that 2018 overdose. That's I mean, so sad. I give her a lot of credit that she's coming out and sharing everything, but she said she really just had to, you know, they say it's people sometimes have to hit bottom, and she said that's what happened to her. She just had to go, every, go through everything in order to learn what she needs to learn. But in this near deadly overdose, she ended up suffering two, uh, three strokes and a heart attack, and she still has some brain damage. It's difficult for her to read books. She said blurred vision for months after the overdose, and uh, she can't drive a car anymore uh, because of uh, episodes that she might still be experiencing. Mm. Uh, she had, it's just unbelievable. I feel really bad for her, but I also give her a lot of credit for stepping up and it. And it well, you know, hopefully she'll help world. someone. Yeah, when people exactly. see and like, say, say, oh, hey, my, you're so glamorous. You have this perfect life. And she said, no, look at what, look at what the drugs were doing to me. Maybe yeah. that'll help somebody. Yeah, I think it's great. Good for her for coming forth. Well, as you know, Jamie Callie, our executive producer of the show, she's 40 yesterday. Or and two engaged. Days ago, and she just recently got engaged, but she's not the only one who's 40 and engaged. Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton. And Jamie is just like Paris. <laughs> they, look at, look at, uh, they look exactly the same. <laughs> Yep. Blonde and brown. <laughs> All right, so uh, Paris Hilton uh, has now gotten engaged to Carter Room. Yeah. Is, I, I'm not sure if I'm saying his last name correctly. Yeah, well, I'm going with whatever you're but saying. She's probably going to go with Hilton. Look, uh, I don't really know too much about Paris. I know about Perez <laughs> Hilton, and he was mean, and then he stopped being mean. Well, Paris is, you know, she's mean. the heiress, but she's, she was the first person who people will say that originally became famous just for being famous, but then she proved she had some business acumen. I love our Jamie better. 40 and engaged. So there you go, Jamie. <laughs> and in downtown LA, there's a pair of sports heroes from the past and present. And there's a new mural that has Lakers star Kobe Bryant making his signature backwards dunk. And right beside him is wow, LA Dodgers cool star that. Mookie Betts. And they say it's to inspire dreamers. Isn't that amazing? I love God, when they oh. do that to a city and they have some amazing art. Look at how talented that artist is, though. Yeah. Isn't that unbelievable? It's so lifelike. It wow, really is. That's really incredible. Who's the artist? His, see name, here. his name is in here. Let me just uh, get it he for wrote, you. Uh, so an artist, Brian Peterson. He wrote on Instagram that he prays the wall awakens and inspires dreamers. And it really can. You know, kids all over the world today, you know, playing athletics and hoping to And I love when they big. have, you know, it's wonderful to go to a beautiful art museum like the Wadsworth, but even having street art like that, yeah, I love absolutely. how they just put art out there. That's great. Right.